Mr. Davis? Yes. Excuse me, Chris Monroe on the spot news. Do you think it would be possible to get a small interview? Well, as long as you let the people know that we're here for the hospital fund and we need all the contributions we can get. You got a deal. Okay. Wonderful. Right over here. All right. Good. Are you ready? Right. It is not fashion alone that brings the crowds here to the Beverly Seville. It is the desire to help others. And every dime raised here today will go to the special treatment wing of the Children's Clinic. And here is one of the stars to make that all possible, Mr. Sammy Davis, Jr. Thank you very, very much. I would like to say... You still think I'm uh, seven foot six with a face like a catcher's mitt? What? <laughs> Townsend Associates. I'm working for you. You... You're working for me? Uh -huh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like this. <laughs> Miss Horn? Anyone here? Looked in this mirror, her face is right there where mine is now. <laughs> Nina's negligee. <laughs> Nina's body was in there. <laughs> Nina's brush. And Nina's powder puff. It's her. It's you. Oh. Oh, this is a big one. You hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. With, with Lena's puff in my ass. What is the matter with you? Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Drink some water. Uh. I didn't mean to startle you, but... What are you doing in my dressing room? Right now, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> wow. Who is she, boss? Her name is Miss Lucy Atwell, a very nice lady whose fantasy is to go back in time to the land of the pharaohs, the great sphinx, and... Um... I know. She wants to be Cleopatra. Exactly, Tatu. Cleopatra, queen of all Egypt. What a fantasy. We. Oui. Ah, but what Miss Atwell will learn is that the scepter of royalty bears fruit as bitter as it is sweet and as deadly as the worst poison. Here he comes. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. Just happened to be passing by. Is Lori here? No, she's at the dentist. Oh. Well, that's where she said she was going when she broke our date. But, um, I just thought something might be wrong. No, not exactly. The dentist is gonna... Ah, uh, gonna give her a checkup. Uh, I'll have a call you when she gets in. Thanks. Well. See ya. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Come in, champ. <laughs> He's awfully weak, champ. Oh. Hi there, Arnold. Who's that? It's me, the champ. Joe Lewis? <laughs> this kid's delirious. <laughs> no, it's me, Muhammad Ali. You'll have to speak louder. I can't hear you over those golden hearts. Golden hearts? Champ? Yeah? Could I ask a favor while I still got breath in my little lungs? Yeah, what is it? Could you autograph a picture for me? I'd be glad to. Here's a pen. Boy, you got quicker hands than me. Well, I've got my picture all ready for you. Now, what do you want me to say? To my best friend, Arnold. 
to my best friend, Arnold. Who I've always liked to have dinner with. <laughs> <laughs> Who I always like to have dinner with. And who I'm teaching them what guys like the good so they won't pick on him. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> because Arnold will give him a left and a right and an up and a shot and nose and an uppercut and a wham, wham, slam, wham. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the little guys will be sick and dying. You sure have a lot of energy. Oh, oh, well, it comes and goes and just went. <laughs> Okay, let's go. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, that's George. That's George. That's quite all right, Mr. Foreman. In fact, we are certainly honored that you could join our little company, and we're certainly honored that you would take the time out to help us raise the money to continue our efforts here at the workshop. Should be fun. It certainly will be. I'd like you to meet our cast. This is Eugene Bancroft. He plays your father. Hi, Jim. Jim. And this is Bert Morgan, the syndicate hitman. Hi, Jim. And Lamont Sanford plays your brother. I feel champ. Yeah, you're a skinny little brother. <laughs> and you, what do you play? Anything you want to do, poker, gin, rummy, bingo. <laughs> you name it, I'm with you. I'm in your corner. Oh, you play the punch drunk fighter. <laughs> Regal. I know, Chip. <laughs> Regal. Cool blue white. They all look white to me. Well, no, no, that's an illusion. You got to see them through a telescope. <sighs> You're a funny man, Kavanaugh. The last time I saw you, you were deep into Van Gogh. His friends called him Vincent. His Starry Night got me interested. And you got me my very best Starry Night repro. Remember, on my 30th birthday. I remember. You do? You found a gray hair. Yeah, well, take a look. It's gone. I cut it out, root and branch. No gray hair. Kavanaugh, you're certifiable. Pass you something. How come you only call me by my first name when you think I'm dead? I guess it's because you're an artist. Last name, signatures. Mm. You remember when I sold my first painting? You were there. The coffee shop? I guess it was a sale. Oh, yeah, it was a sale. I mean, they took it for good and valuable consideration. Only because we didn't have enough money to pay for the hamburgers we ate that month. <laughs> well, I'm really flattered that you tried to look like me to impress that girl. I even glued some hair on my chest. <laughs> wow, that's more than what I got. <laughs> but anyway, I think you're going about this all the wrong way. What do you mean? You see, if you want to get somewhere in life or with a girl, you can't go around copying somebody else. You got to be your own original. That's easy for you to say. You've got a lot more to work with. <laughs> You're built like a mountain. You're more like a speed bump. Oh, Arnold, the thing that matters the most is on the inside. It's not what you look like on the outside. How do I go about being an original? You're already there, little brother. I am? Yeah. I never met anybody like you before in the world. Man, you outrageous. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no! Just hold it. Hey, son. I knew, I knew my heart could never stand being my idol. You're my favorite. Oh, I never been so close to nobody before. Oh, oh. What's the matter? When I saw you, my heart went pity pat. That's terrible. <laughs> well, if you don't like that one, how about life is just a bowl of warm menudo? I got a hundred of songs right here. Hey, what's going on here? I, I, I forgive my father, but see, he's trying to break into show business as a songwriter. Yeah, you see, just like you did when, when you used to play at the Kit Kat Club in St. Louis. I'm probably your biggest fan, Mr. King. <laughs> Come on, baby, we can't be late for that dinner appointment with your manager. Man, you know, I get sick of the road. For once, I'd just like to spend an evening with some down-home folks. Well, get out, Lamar. What? Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Ay, amigos. 
I have a confession to make. What is that? When I came here, I was thinking about giving up my music. But you know what? I have learned that my guitar sometimes can be mightier than the sword. Do you lift people up just as a Lobo Rojo did? Now I know he was real, and he won his fight. With your help. And I will win mine with his. Adios, señor Roarque. Muchas, muchas gracias. You're very welcome. Muchas, muchas gracias. What a great fantasy. Ay! <laughs> Adios. Adios.